Gucci. Go ahead. All right, Foster, just these three days in, in pads, just how has it been? Seems like it's ramping up a whole lot. Yeah, sure. It's getting pretty chippy. Um, you know, obviously, getting the pads on and getting three straight days in. I mean, it's our, our seventh day of camp, and we got a full week under our belt, so we're feeling pretty good. Um, definitely feeling chippy, feeling feeling a little violent. Um, love what the defense is, is given to us, and uh, we're trying to give it back to them. Can you feel that a lot more from that defensive line with, with Chase and Cam and those guys with the chippiness? It's great, man. Those guys those guys are awesome. They're tone setters. Don't forget Carl Granderson. That guy's that guy's a big unit. He's, uh, he's awesome. Those guys are uh, – those guys – push us to our limit every day. In terms of the tight ends, man, with this offense, with uh, Coach Kubiak, how's it just been up to this point learning that offense right now? Uh, it's awesome. There's a lot of discipline. There's a high level of accountability. Everyone's meeting together, and we're all hearing it from the same mouth. Um, I, I think that's important. The second-hand information stuff that we've kind of delved in in the past, you know, we're, we're, we're done with that. How do you feel like, how do you feel like this offense, like, Compliments your skill players and just kind of how everybody fits into it. It's great. Um, you know, th there is a lot of complimentary action and a, and a lot of play action stuff. And um, obviously, I mean, in this league, nothing nothing goes without the run, right? You could pass the score all you want, but you got to run the ball to win. Um, so for us, that's been a huge point of emphasis. Um, we have a, a, ta a very talented back room. Um, we have a, I mean, we have a lot of skill in the offensive line room. Um, you know, I'm putting a lot on myself. I'm in for a lot of the rundowns. So, I mean, getting more yards per carry is, is a big point of emphasis and something that we definitely need to definitely need to address. And I think we have been. These guys are really pushing, working to finish. This seems like a fairly obvious question, but I'm going to ask it. How, how much better do you feel like just physically this year going into the season, kind of having a regular offseason? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. I'd, I'd, some stuff going on, definitely had some stuff going on last year and I, I still had a little going on this year uh, but uh, everything's everything's worked out and I was I was in the training room in the in the in the weight room on the field as much as I could um, and I was I was I was limited for a lot of the OTAs but then getting to be uh, getting to take some actual team reps late was was awesome and, and continuing to grow and, and prosper and put a little more on myself that was uh, that was something I absolutely needed to do. How does your role change or what you're being asked to do change in this new offense? I mean, you mentioned obviously it's more blocking. Yeah, no, I think, I, I think I've done a lot of blocking uh, for a, a majority of my career. Uh, and I don't, I don't see that changing as much, but um, you know, trying to, trying to expand the role as much as you can. I mean, the moment you try to stop growing is, is when everyone else starts passing you up. And we definitely have a lot of good tight ends in this room. Uh, we're patiently waiting for 83 to come back. And I mean, obviously he's gonna be a big part of our offense. It's just need to get him healthy um, and he'll be back in full force. And I'm excited to get back with him. Foster, it's strange to hear Foster Murrow veteran tight end. Like, I mean, this is gonna be your, what, sixth year in the, in the league? Yeah, it's you're strange. Like, you're like a Wiley veteran now. How yeah, it's, it's strange. Um, you know, thankfully I've had a lot of coaches that have treated me like a veteran for a very long time. Um, Clancy Barone being one of them. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a blessing and, and a curse, you know, you'd, you'd love to go back and, and start that journey over again and just have a fresh body, fresh legs, fresh everything. But I mean, I wouldn't trade what I, what I have right now for the world, the knowledge and the experience, the, um, the experiences and, and the moments that I've shared with my teammates, my coaches and, uh, the fan base is awesome. Speaking of the fan base, it's been over a year now you've lived in New Orleans and been back in the Saints. Uh, how has that been, you know, with the family and the I mean, you're, you're walking around now. You've been over a year here in New Orleans. Yeah, it's it's great. Um, I couldn't get back much when I was in Vegas. It's just I, I'd mostly train at the facility, but now being home, it's just it, it's so much fun. Uh, and I have such a blast going and doing everything, like uh, just going over and like playing basketball over at over at Gernon Brown over there on Marconi. It's like it's 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 unbelievable and it's great and it's it's home for me and just bought a house and I'm really excited about it. Um, it, it it's awesome. It's something I've always looked forward to and always dreamed of and I, I see a lot of that stuff coming to fruition now, which is pretty cool.